Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I have to tell you today is an incredible day, wonderful energy and very beautiful sky. After a few days of rain we actually have one of the best weather you can ask for. I'm in my favorite park, uh, it's called Park Kasprowicza, it's in Szczecin and I would like to talk to you today about something that came to my mind this morning, actually when I was cleaning my apartment. and. That is my life compared to Poland and I will explain what I mean by that. Many of my viewers are asking me or I actually have been interviewed by some um, other YouTubers and they were asking me why, why Poland uh, loves America so much and why Poland generalizing hates Russia so much. Again, you cannot say this for 100% uh, of the population, but this morning something came to me that um, it really explains a lot of psychological programming that has been done to us, to all of us all around the world, throughout the generations. Um, and it reminds me my own family dynamic. And I will share this with you and compare to history of Poland a little bit, because of course, I don't know all the real things yet. I'm trying to get more and more information about the real history. As you know, um, well, let's start with me first. So when I was growing up, I'm the only one child. Um, my parents had a very strange marriage. They stayed together because of me. Um, I'm aware of that because of having the child. And it was different time then. People were not getting divorced as easily as they do now. And my mother was, um, if I can use this word, let's use this word, was influencing me or in a way brainwashing me against my father and um, his mother, so my grandmother, who I have a lot of similarities with actually. And the other side, um, my father was never doing this against my mother. However, I could see his resentment. So that was showing me the other way to be. So with my father, I had to be certain way. With my mother, I had to be certain way. Um, yes, split in between. What happened to me is I left, I left my home and then I was moving to different countries. I lived in Sweden. I lived in the United States, as you know. But why I'm telling you all of this is that this is the point here. So there is one influence, there's another influence. And at the end of the day, making peace with all of it, I came to my own because I lost my, I didn't really know what is wrong and what is right in a way. So I was on this search throughout my life and it came back to me, it really came back to me. Um, that is very similar to how I see Poland. Because Poland for, and let's just go back to the modern history. You cannot deny the fact that Poland was under communism for, was it over 45 years, okay? Um, or maybe more even, I have to count. And then we had the 1989 round table negotiations, which again was not so much freedom. It was sold as a freedom, but it was all staged. So we had one power trading us. We had the communists power trading us for the Wall Street power. So you had the influence from two sides. And um, I mean, think about it. What happens to the people, right? Now, going back to the um, Polish government and Polish officials in the government. As you know, I said it yesterday with interview with Scott Ritter, the Polish government is not Polish government. Those are not <laughs> loving Poland people. And how you can tell? You judge them by their fruits. That's all you need. And you go a little bit deeper, you do some research and you go into the lineage, into the family tree and you find some connections that try to be hidden, but they are there. Sorry guys, I cut this video and it's recording uh, additional videos now. They have some testing there. I think there will be like concert or something. The stage is already prepared. Anyway, 
So Polish government, as much as I know, and of course I don't know everything, and I'm still learning and I will continue, um, Polish president apparently has the Ukrainian connections, right? He denies and all of it, but I'm pretty sure there is something there. This, this love for Ukraine um, has more than just the money, right? Um, aspect of it. And we have Morawiecki, the prime, prime minister of Poland, who again, I have to do more research, so I don't want to say, make any statement, but I'm coming more and more to information about his connection with Israel and some Jewish connection throughout his wife, through his wife as well, his wife family. What I'm trying to say is this, I mean, if you don't have it in your blood, you don't care for the country, you don't care for the land. And this is the same all around the world. Um, those governments have been chosen, created intentionally to divide and conquer people. I would like to tell you that um, the same thing is with Lech Wałęsa. A lot of people think he was such a hero and the solidarity movement, Solidarność, we say. Guys, this is all staged. <laughs> you know, even me, when I was growing up, you know, I thought this is going to be true freedom and liberation. It was freedom from one thing and it's another slavery from another thing. So that's how it looks like. And maybe this is not giving you enough like concrete details or some facts, facts, facts. But, you know, when you do your own research, you will come across a lot of those informations. And I will be giving you as much as I can because I'm still learning all of this. We have to relearn the entire history pretty much. That's what it is. Um, I will show you now the parts of this park, which is really beautiful. There is a place that um, has this incredible statue made of three eagles and the video will end with this. I hope you enjoy this little different format today. I felt inspired to record this and it's such a beautiful day. Uh, if it's too windy, I will put the music over so you don't suffer. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening to me. And, you know, I came to my own. I found myself. I'm not my mother, I'm not my father, and this is my this is my comparison to Poland. We are not United States, we are not Russia. We are the Slavic country with incredible history and roots and soul and spirit. And we have to come back to our own, to our own core. And when we find that identity that is our own, the appreciation for every other identity will be more natural. And there is this sense of feeling insecure and less than that has been, I believe, projected and forced on mentality of people. So I've been there too, look up to the West as if that's the most perfect place. It took me very long time to come to the point to understand that it was an illusion, you know? Thank you for watching, guys, and I see you very soon, next time. Bye-bye.